How do you guys? Um, this morning I've just come down to come down to um, a stretch of canal that I've wanted to fish for a long time. I actually went to school in the area and I've still never fished this, uh, this stretch of canal. Um, <clears throat> I always thought it was privately owned. Uh, going that way is BAA, so I haven't got my BAA ticket yet, so I can't fish that. But uh, in the other direction, it is run by Kimver Freeliners. And uh, after contacting the um, the treasurer or administrator, whatever you want to call him, uh, he has confirmed you can fish it on a day ticket. So, um, and I saw a couple of years ago that someone had had a really nice pike out of there. Um, I forget the YouTube, he has got a YouTube channel, but I can't remember his, his channel's name now. But um, So that's my aim, is to come down and see what other pike are, are knocking around. I don't expect to catch that fish, but um, yeah, see what else is about. Weather-wise, uh, it's really ropey. It's been absolutely belting down all night uh, and all this morning, and it's only just sort of knocked off his drizzling now. So. Um, water clarity is pretty pants down here. There's not much vegetation to absorb the debris floating around, so it is coloured. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to jig fly my way up to where I want to get to, see if anything, any takers on that, because it's kind of like the lure I'd use for testing any water, because I've caught the most fish on that now. Uh, and then coming back, I'll use either um, Savage Gear uh, 19 centimetre lip lure in rud pattern, um, or probably the um, clown coloured uh, headbanger so a lot of noise a lot of uh, attraction uh, and bright colour and yeah hopefully we can get a fish on the bank if not and I've got time left I might nip back to where um, I'd missed a few uh, noise fish uh, well last week so uh, we'll see but let's get fishing Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, my life, nice one. Oh, fish off. <laughs> right, um, it's wetter than an otter's pocket, and I've missed four fish. So I know the fish are there, but they're not playing game today. Um, so I've tried numerous lures, and they're just having none of it. The only thing I've gone to is the jig fly. So the good thing is, I know they're here, um, just for another day, I guess. Um, if I've got chance, I'm going to try and drive over to another spot where I, I missed two decent fish of the day. Um, again on the jig fly, but I, where, they, where they were, uh, I had to use a jig fly because it is plastered in lilies. Um, you can pretty much get the jig fly in and around quite a bit more than you would uh, the big lures. So, um, depending on traffic and how quickly I can get over there, I'm going to try and get an hour on this other spot. Um, try and winkle a fish out in uh, session number four in a bit. On, fish on. Let's see if we can keep this one on this time. No, I found. <laughs> oh my lord. Right on knocking doors, I catch a fish. In the net. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Try and quickly and do this fish all in the net because I'm going to be like my kids otherwise. Not a bad fish either. Fish at all. Um, 
<laughs> oh. you know, I'll try, actually, I'll try, I will try and get a quick footage of this one. I have to be really quick with this fish because I'm going to be like three kids otherwise. Last, last knockings on the way back. Um, really, really pleased with this. Just lunged out of the weed. Um, so we can get the brightness down to meet. There we go. But uh, really happy with that. Uh, absolutely nailed the uh, jig fly. What a great way to finish an absolutely soaking wet day. Um, <laughs> well done. Cheers, mate. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, get it back. Right, my uh, GoPro's died to death, so uh, I'm going to release this one off my iPhone. Absolutely, you can't tell, but uh, absolutely lovely colour greens on this one. But uh, this is not a graceful uh, release. Evening, guys. Um, this is just me doing a little uh, sort of sign off for today, really. Um, I had to dash uh, at the end of the session because um, I took it right down to the line of last cast, but I had 25 last casts as always before that. Um, and yeah, it's just on my way back to the car. Uh, last cast, I managed to, to get a fish out of the water. And I thank the lucky stars because I'd missed four, four or five in the day. So, um, I think fair to say today has been really challenging. Uh, it hasn't stopped raining. You can probably hear, hopefully, uh, it's still going now. So the rain is proper going for gold. Um, supposedly in um, four days, so from two days ago, for in, the next, in those four days, another two to go, uh, we're supposed to have had, or supposed to be getting uh, a month's worth of rain. Now, to be fair, it's probably ringing true at the moment because it hasn't really stopped raining uh, in the last 24 hours anyway. So, but consequently it meant that at the end of the session, uh, my waterproofs were soaked through and my boots were soaked through. I was dripping wet. Uh, I wasn't too pleased because I missed, um, let's say, uh, three or four fish at the first venue, another nice fish at the second venue, and then I managed to get one in, um, about six pounds. But, um, yeah, really pleased to have caught that fish, obviously, and that boat is shared tonight. <laughs> it's only plastic on the way past. Um, I do have a bit of banter, so it's nice, but uh, bumped into Paul um, from Bickley's Angle Adventures on the bank as well, which is nice. Um, wasn't expecting to see him down there, but um, always nice to see someone who you get on with and uh, share the same passions, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, just to say, hopefully the, the rain will have cleared tomorrow. If not, uh, I'll still go out anyway, try and get an hour out, out on the canal bank. But um, also, um, when I came back this afternoon, or this, yeah, this afternoon, um, I got this and it come through the post as well. So if anybody, any of you other guys have got it, but uh, the Mortimer and Whitehouse uh, book has come from uh, my sister-in-law and partner. Um, so great choice for my birthday present. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to the new one coming out on TV as well soon. Because um, I just think it's it's not just about going out and you know cracking out some fantastic sized fish. Uh, it's just about you know out with your mate as well. So I, um, yeah, can't wait for that to come out. So, but anyway, uh, just say thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I'll try and get as many videos out as I can. Um, I'll draw the line if I've blanked, unless it's something funny. Um, but if I do catch a fish, I'll probably get still get a video out just to show you that. Um, what it's like in the sense of so uh, that was my fourth, fourth session and I've caught three times at those four sessions um, you know tomorrow might be a complete blank again but two of those four sessions no three of those four sessions have been literally a couple of hours uh, and then today I've had six hours and I've only caught one fish so it just goes to show it doesn't always mean um, when you've got the whole day to fish you're going to catch loads when I've caught more in a couple of hours than what I've done in a, like a half day session. So um, yeah, 
in a bit. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully catch you in the bank tomorrow. Ta-da.